to build my file options and when you go to options you're going to go to customize ribbon and when you go by customize ribbon you're going to check developer so by default developer will be off right and you will see microsoft Word will not have developer here next to it now that i have the developer option selected i could put in different things so i'm going to create a form so i'm going to put first name and by first name i want to put a field so that they'll be able to put in their name and then i want to put surname I want to put a field so that they will to put in the name also, right? So I'll go my first name and I'm going to go on top by um controls, rich text control, or it could just be um plain text control, either one. And I'm going to click there and I'll insert our box. That box now is going to give me the ability to put information in. Right, so now I have two fields inside there, and they are both fillable forms. So I could basically create it and leave the space blank and a person who is using the um, form, they'll be able to see that, okay, they're supposed to type something there. Now let's say I wanted them to choose three things. Um, so marital status could either be married, space, space, divorce, or single. Now I want them to choose. So I could go up here and put checkbox. And when I click checkbox, it will give me a box there. And then I could go by the same control section, put in a box there. I could go in by single and put in a box there. All right. So now when the person is filling on the form, they could type their information inside here. Or they could tick the box. And I'll put an X by it. All right. Now I want them to choose things. So I want to give them a drop of the box. Da, 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 da. Drop down box. We're going to choose drop down list. Drop down list is what we're going to use. So you click drop down list, and you will now see choose an item. But the drop down list has no items to choose. So we need to configure this drop down box. So I'm going to click on it and make sure it's highlighted. Make sure it's highlighted. Then I'm going up by controls and click properties. And by properties, I'll get this um this little box here that will show me the different things I have. But this part here where it has choose an item. This is the part where you can turn about drop down list properties. These are the things where is it, this is the place where you can add things to this drop down box. So I'm going to click add and the name of it would be port of Spain as one. Then I'm going to add um, San Fernando. I have all these things here. And when I click OK, the drop down menu is now going to give me options that I could choose from. So I could choose any one of these. And if I choose Castries, Castries will go there. So now when I send this form to somebody, they could actually fill out the form. And they could type in their name. They could choose an option from one of the um, options that are given. And then the drop-down box will tell them what they need to do.